Astro King in the blue and yellow is every chance. Great Galleon. Here's the great dark ship. Looking to thunder down the centre with a nose band in Tempest. Twelve and a half left to go in the Hunt Cup. And dark ship has come first in true intelligence in the purple and green colours. is coming through with him. Tempest in the nose band. Then Isla Fay and Astro King. It's dark ship with a half battle to cover. From intelligence and Tempest. Dark ship all out. Intelligence sticking to the task. This has been a plan for a very long time and Dark Shift wins the Royal Hunt Cup and what a week this is proving to be for the New Zealand born jockey James McDonnell, Kevin. Not a bad week for Alex Hammond either, well done <laughs> Alex, very bullish selection. Yeah. Uh, now you have a bit, you tell us what happened to you. I say you were watching only one horse. I was, I was. I mean, it's easy to spot because, of course, we'll go back and show you, but they split into goodness knows how many groups and he, he just wasn't getting any cover early on. At this point, obviously, they all merged and he set sail for home. And goodness me, I mean, I was impressed when he won at Nottingham last time. He was a couple of pounds well in. He'd have won with another couple of pounds on his back, I think, wouldn't he? But he beats Intelligent, who was really difficult to load beforehand but just shows the well-being of the Jane Chapel home stable finished second at 40 to 1 temp as Holly Doyle told us that this horse was overpriced and he's finished third at 28 to 1 and Astro King of course has been placed once again at 17 to 2 but this horse he um, was an interesting horse because he looked a bit keen from stall 15 stuck out on the wing there and uh, he's come home very, very honestly. And Charlie Hills' his horse has been in super form, Fred. Yes, absolutely. I think he must be delighted now with this fellow's performance simply because this is his second course and distance win. He also won here over the seven for him, so he's clearly in love with that. But he's versatile with the growlers. He can watch it again here. Um, he's coming out of stall. What is it again? 15. 15. So he's at the back here in the white hit. I'm thinking at this stage, Alex. Oh my God, it's all over. But he's still in contention. He wasn't that that far off behind the pace. And talking about a jockey, that's all happening for him. You don't come across too many lads where they just ride horses wherever it is. And James McDonald is one of them. Everything just happened for him. He, he's a fabulous jockey. We spoke about him yesterday. Like this couldn't be more different to what he's used to in Australia. You know, the the, the rhythm of races down there is completely different. And look, like we mentioned, he's been up to Ireland. He spent time in the UK as well. And he's just a fabulous rider. Wherever you bring him, he's tip top. And Chris Waller's horses have been based with Charlie Hills whilst they've been over here. So you would imagine he got a little feel for Dark Shift while he's been based in Lambourne. Uh, and I tell you, he's a horse with an interesting profile, Alex. He was bred by the, the Nearcos family. He's, uh, first, he's a first foal by Dark Angel, out of a half sister to Ulysses. Oh. It's a big pedigree, but um, the Nearcos family decided to sell him as a yearling. He was purchased for 50,000 guineas. And uh, it's taken him a little bit of time to find his, his full feet. Um, as Dark Angels can sometimes be a little bit slow to get rolling, but he's really rolling now. He is really rolling now. He's a four-year-old and a four-year-old who's getting better and better. And I imagine they'll be trying to find as many races over this straight course and, at Ascot as they possibly can. And, you know, I thought he was going to be shorter than 13 to 2, but obviously there was support for some of the others. Legend of Dubai, he was quite handy early on, Fred. He was, and when push came to shove for Alex, there was just nothing there. I think the ground is a little bit too lively for him at this stage now, because, you know, considering his breeding, he would prefer plenty of juice in the ground. And put a line through this, there'll be another day in him. There certainly will. And look at this grey stretching majestically clear in the last furlong there in the hands of James McDonald. He really is one of those riders who can just get off the plane and ride anywhere, but he does know... Um, ask it very, very well from previous experiences, and the smile tells us plenty. Dark Shift wins the Royal Hunt Cup at 13 to.